All right, so today we're just going to take a look at the brushes in the um, Super 7R here. Uh, it's something that you want to do um, frequently. Um, I think they recommend every 200 to 250 hours. I don't ever keep track of that, so I usually, um, about every six months or so, just pop this um, front cover off, which will allow you to access your brush. So there's a little clip that holds it in place. You just push that in. It's got a little spring, which that still looks good. <clears throat> little clip here. Pull that connector down, and then you can just pull it out carefully. As you can see, that is still a, basically a brand new brush. This is what you don't want them to look like. So that's about where you'd want to, at the very maximum, let them go. I usually try and replace them about two thirds of its length, um, but half is acceptable. In the Super 7R, there are four total brushes um, that need to be replaced. And if you replace one, you replace them all. They should all wear uh, at about the same rate. And they're all located. You got one in the front here. Just remove that. And it's the same thing on the back side. And then these two are just covered up by these plates. This one's a little bit trickier because you got the switch in the way there. But you can usually finagle the, the wires out of the way. So when you're putting them back in, it's really easy. There's a little slot there. If you can see that. And then the clip, measure that being inside there, is what holds that in place. And as this is wearing, this will keep that end up against your comm commutator. So putting it back in is very simple. Um, you just want to make sure that that is facing the side with the clip. I don't know if that was... 